Hey guys, and welcome to another haul. This time with clothing that doesn't suck for the environment. For once. Honestly, I look up to so many sustainable brands. As you guys know, I rant about Reformation like every single video. I wish that I could dive headfirst into sustainable fashion, stop buying fast fashion altogether, and just have a wardrobe of completely Reformation and vintage and thrifted items. I'm wet just thinking about it. But unfortunately, as a college student paying rent in LA, that's just not happening right now. But today I thought I would do at least what I can towards the sustainable fashion movement and talk about some pieces that I got from sustainable brands and some ways that you can get really high quality sustainable clothing without completely decimating your wallet. So the first set of things I have to show you guys is actually from The Real Real, which is also today's sponsor. Wow, what a smooth transition, Ashley. You guys know that I love thrifting and buying things secondhand, and The Real Real is basically like that bougified to the max. They are a luxury consignment website and app, and they also have physical stores in LA and New York. I visited the one on Melrose and it's super fancy and amazing. And they have like a snack bar. They have a place where you can get face masks done. Like that's how fancy it is. I was overwhelmed. They have so many bougie designer brands. They have like Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Is that how you say it? I don't know, the French are screaming. More importantly for me, they also carry Reformation and a bunch of those really cool like LA blogger sustainable ethical brands and the great thing is because it's secondhand you not only get these brands cheaper but also the only thing more sustainable than buying a sustainable brand is buying a sustainable brand secondhand. That was some Dr. Seuss shit right there. Anyway, let me just show you guys what I got. The Real Real was kind enough to give me some shopping credit on their website, so I was able to buy a few more things from Reformation. The first dress I got is this dress that I'm wearing right now. It was $145, which I know is not pocket change. That's about 20 burritos, and I do enjoy myself a good burrito, but it's still 50 to $100 cheaper than what this dress originally retailed for. And obviously, the whole point of this haul is that I want to be supporting sustainable brands, even though the other half of my brain is like, stop spending so much goddamn money. But I'm trying to get that part to shut up and realize that I should pay people a fair wage and support companies that I like. I'm gonna try not to say the word cute too many times in this haul, but I mean, this dress is pretty fucking cute. I really like in particular the neckline on it, especially for your fellow girls in the itty bitty titty committee. I love wide open necklines like this because it says, hello, I have collarbones and don't think about my boobs. This is also one of those dresses that makes you feel so girly and dressed up and like anything is possible. But it's also casual enough that I've just worn this to the grocery store to buy myself some frozen curry dinners and nobody looked at me weird. The second dress that I got, I'm sorry, did somebody say picnic bitch? If you looked up the dictionary definition of picnic bitch, this is the dress that would be right next to it. Never have I wanted so much to look like a chic version of a picnic blanket. Ants everywhere are gonna be like, damn, is that a snack? Cause I wanna crawl all over you like I would on a fucking picnic blanket. I think my picnic jokes are getting a little bit too niche at this point. This dress was again $145 or approximately the cost of eight Tamagotchis. I love that this dress has a wrap silhouette so it's really easy to conform. Ex <clears throat> oh my. Um, also guys, honestly, this dress makes me so fucking happy because I remember when I first found out about Reformation and I looked on their website, I think this was one of the dresses and I was just in awe of how gorgeous it was. And now I finally own it, which is crazy. So somebody better take me on a really nice daytime summer date, even though it's November, so that I can wear this. And my last Reformation dress, I got this tropical looking number, which is very, I'm at a resort in the 50s and on my way to steal your man. This was the most affordable of the Reformation dresses by far. It was $75, which is actually getting pretty close to the price of just a normal dress at Urban Outfitters. The reason I still have the big return tag attached is I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I keep looking at it and I'm like, is it too loud? Or is it a good type of loud? I don't know, let me know. The last thing that I got from The Real Real is not from Reformation. These are Stella McCartney vegan leather boots. And Stella McCartney, I feel like doesn't have a huge rep on the internet for being one of the big sustainable brands that people think about, but they have a whole sustainability mission on their website. They obviously pay everybody a fair wage. They use organic and sustainable materials and they also don't use real leather. So all that good stuff. Although I will say, I kind of hate that faux leather has been rebranded into vegan leather. It's not vegan, it's just fake. So it's kind of marketing bullshit, but if it's marketing bullshit that's good for the environment, I'll take it. If I'm gonna get all 
fashion tactical on you guys. I like that it's a longer toe box shape, so it still elongates your leg, which is really important to me, especially if it's a flat boot. But the square toe makes it so much more like aesthetically pleasing. I feel like an aesthetic space cowboy. And the best part for me, because I have to walk over a mile to class and up and down like 16 different hills, Thanks UCLA for being a hilly bitch. I own so many cool heeled booties that are like three or four inches But at the end of the day, I can only wear those running like short errands Maybe I can get to the post office, but there is no way I am making it to my lecture on time Not that I really make it to lecture on time in flat boots either. I need to start setting timers or something. All right, the next brand that I wanted to talk about is actually an Instagram shop. It's shop underscore Suki. I'll link it below. She basically does the thrifting for you and finds really cool vintage pieces and sells them at kind of around an Urban Outfitters price point. She just has such a good eye and she's based in LA as a small company, so I am down to support. A while ago, I got my green Kim Possible pants from her, which you guys have seen in so many videos, but I got this new t-shirt as well. I think this is actually a boy's large, but I kind of have the body of a 16 year old boy anyway, so <laughs> works great on me. I think this might actually be advertising like the real Thunderbirds, like in the US Air Force, but I got it because it actually reminded me of the Thunderbirds TV show. Three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. The weird one with puppets that my dad would have us watch after dinner when I was a kid. Well, I, uh, I'm going up front to have a word with the passengers. Passengers or passenger? I saw her too, she's kinda cute. The more I think about it, the more fucking creepy that show was. Nevertheless, the shirt was a little bit nostalgic for me. I also just love the design. I love that it's red, white, and blue, so it's very Americana, really easy to pair with jeans because the little blue in the design ties in. And overall, it just looks like something that you would buy new at Urban Outfitters, but instead of fake vintage, it's real vintage. So that's always cool. Next up, let's dive into some jeans and t-shirts, which are like my favorite basics to talk about. These are from Redone, which remakes jeans from vintage Levi's and redoes them, as their name would say, into the jeans that all social media girls wear. So a huge thank you to them for gifting me this stuff. First up, we have some jeans, which are my babies. They're like the perfect amount of straight, but still hug your curves and they're cropped, but not too cropped. I don't know, they just know how to do everything right. Before I was sent these, my hands had never touched denim this expensive, but like, I feel like the try-on click kind of speaks for itself, but I just have no complaints about these jeans. And then I also got this pair, which to the untrained eye looks exactly the same as this pair. Maybe to the trained eye as well. These are a little bit more of a dark acid wash look. Let's talk about price because these jeans are pretty expensive. They are $250. Honestly, I'm kind of biased because I didn't actually pay for mine, but I do think if you can afford it and if these jeans fit you perfectly, it is kind of worth it. That's just speaking from personal experience in high school when I had probably five different pairs of American Eagle jeans that all cost $50 and I didn't really love any of them and they'd always rip at the crotch within like a year. I could have just bought a pair of these jeans and they'd last forever. The other really cool thing about Redone is that you're able to register the serial number of your jeans on their website and you get free repairs for your entire life. I thought that was so cool because it's really rare to see a brand like put their money where their mouth is and really say like this product is so good it's gonna last you forever. So major props to Redone. But again, if these are a little bit expensive for you, they do go on sale every so often. So it's worth checking it out. And they also sell Redone jeans on The Real Real for around $125, $145. Redone also sent me some t-shirts. And I will say when I initially looked at their site to pick out t-shirts, I was really skeptical that any t-shirt could be worth $78. Even if Jesus himself sewed that t-shirt, that's a lot of money. But after trying these on and wearing them nonstop the past couple of weeks, I really do appreciate all the design that's gone into these t-shirts. They are by far the most comfortable t-shirts that I own. And I own a lot of t-shirts that are old and worn in and really soft, but these like, I don't know what the fuck they put in them, but like these are softer and stretchier and feel so good. Similarly to their jeans, for their t-shirts, they also offer you free repairs and replacements. So honestly, $78 for one t-shirt is a lot, but $78 for never having to buy a basic white tee again is pretty good. And I think honestly, I've spent $78 on five different crappy white t-shirts that I didn't like that much. Redone also sent me this t-shirt, which is a graphic t-shirt, the same fucking godly material that the other t-shirts are made out of. The graphic on this says, not yours, never was, and it's in a kind of Roy Lichtenstein, I think that's how you pronounce his name, type of style. Story time. I wore this shirt to the grocery store while I was hangover shopping. 
as one does. And the guy checking me out was like, oh, did you buy that shirt because your boyfriend broke up with you? I was like, I just like this shirt and want to buy some applesauce. Don't come at my life like that, man. This does retail for, I think, $150, $125, which compared to the other t-shirts, if you aren't super rich, I would buy a basic t-shirt before I would buy this graphic tee. This will never go out of style, but this might seem a little bit dated in 10 years or something like that. But again, so grateful to Redone for sending me this stuff. And they are a kick-ass company that makes kick-ass clothing. Everlane is one of the brands that you guys recommended to me when I asked about brands that were sustainable, but also not insanely expensive. Honestly, compared to a brand like Reformation or Redone, they're not as much of an aesthetic. I don't think they have as big of like an Instagram girl vibe going on, but I can really appreciate that they just focus on making good basics, especially if you guys are working in an office or have an internship. Their clothing is all pretty office friendly. So I picked up this one from Everlane. It is 100% cashmere, which is very bougie. I feel like a real adult now. Obviously this sweater is super classic and hopefully I'm gonna be able to wear it for like five, 10, 15 years. This one is cropped a bit shorter than normal sweaters, so it hits right above the hip, which I think is actually quite flattering. I feel like such a classy, like 30 year old woman who has a business meeting to go to. Here is the one piece in this haul that I'm not gonna be trying on for you guys. And it is a bra by Leib. I believe is how you pronounced it. They're a super small company in Berlin and all of their underwear are manufactured in Portugal with ethical practices and all that good shit. So they sent me a bra and underwear set. I'm not gonna show you the thong, unfortunately for all my resident creepy guys out there. I thought this was worth showing you guys because I actually got it like five months ago, which now I think about it, it's kind of weird that I'm showing you guys like my old used bra. I have worn this nearly every day, whether I'm going to sleep or I'm just having a comfy bra day and she is still going strong. And that brings us to the last item in this entire haul, which is this Reformation top. This is my first and only Reformation purchase that I actually made off the website at full price. I do sort price low to high, and this was pretty much one of the cheapest things on their website, but it also happened to be one of the designs that I love the most. And it is this top, which is so freaking precious. This top makes me feel like such a 50s babe, or what's the male equivalent of babe? a babo. <laughs> it makes me feel like a like a 50s babo ready to like help your girl filling up gas at the gas station because her lady hands cannot fill up gas herself. Were women even allowed to drive in the 50s? Oh no, they definitely were. America wasn't that sexist. All right, with that, that brings us to the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as like a final note, I just wanted to say, even though I showed you guys a bunch of clothing that I love and that I'm gonna get so much use out of, really at the end of the day, the most sustainable thing to do is to not buy anything new at all and to just rewear stuff that you already own. I'll have everything linked in the description. You're welcome to check it out. But before you do, maybe think about what you have in your own wardrobe. Again, a huge thank you to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. Speaking of, if you do have any clothing in your wardrobe that you don't wear very often anymore and you wanted to give a new home, The Real Real also has a consignment service. So you can either ship it to them online or they have a white glove luxury service that comes directly to your home and picks up your precious little luxurious babies and takes them over to The Real Real. So that's a great option if you did have some clothing that you wanted to give a new home. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.